All right, welcome back. In this video, we're gonna dive a little bit deeper uh, and we're gonna learn a little bit more about the select statement and some things we can do with the select statement. Um, so uh, if you're enjoying this series, please comment, like, subscribe, and that will help me out tremendously. All right, so let's switch over to our screen here. And I'm gonna make sure I have my uh, exam running, so opt lamp examp start or whatever that is for your operating system and uh, I can see that there are now started the next thing I want to do is uh, go into my prompt for my MySQL so I can do that by just typing in the path which is opt lamp and then bin for binary or bin for directory MySQL dash u root and that is going to log me in as the root user and now that I'm logged in here I'm going to go ahead and use the DB so I'm going to type in use DB and now you can see that I am logged in or using the uh, database called DB now just as a recap I could go ahead and show uh, tables and I have one table in this database and I can describe that table. And you can see all of the uh, fields that I have available to me and their types. Um, and then, uh, so that's where we're at. And then I can also type in select star from users. And now you can see I currently have five rows in my table, okay? So in my users table, I have five rows of data stored in there. <laughs> okay, so let's look at uh, some more stuff we can do here with the select. Like I mentioned before, uh, let's just officially look at the syntax. So the syntax here is select, use the keyword select, and then you put the columns that you want to return, and then you type from or yeah from and then you put in your table and then you can also put any other options you have after that so we could do like a where clause uh, we will learn more about this but we could do um, order order by we can do uh, limit offset so there's a lot of things that we can do in the select statement and um, so let's just go ahead and look at all of those so we looked at before we if you do select star that's just returning all of the columns that a table has so star just means all columns in this table uh, you're selecting all of those okay you want all of them returned so let's try select star from users. Now we can use a where statement just like we did in our update. And I can say where ID is equal to three. And if I do that, then it's just going to return the one row here. Okay, because that's the only one that matches that has the ID of three. Um, I could also do select star from users where um, we could say where L name is equal to Parham. And now we have five rows here. So um, that is actually all of our rows because I gave all of the last names Parham. So let's, let's add another row here. So let's do insert into users. And I'm just gonna do, um, an F name and an L name and we'll say enter the values and let's find some different last names so let's do John Doe comma Jane Doe and what this will do is add two rows 
uh, into the database. So now if I do a select star from users just to see them all, um, we have two new rows at the end. We have a John Doe and a Jang Doe. So let's just select, uh, if I do a select star from users where L name is equal to Doe, then we just get those two rows back. So this is how we can start segmenting our database and getting back in from only the information that we need to, to see or use. Um, uh, we, so you could do anything like that. You could also do um, select, let's say I wanted to find all of the users who, um, who don't have a phone number. Well, I can do select star from users where, oops, where phone is null. And now when I run that, we just get these rows back because they have no phone number. So we got, we selected all the rows from our users table where the phone column is null. But let's say I only want to get back, uh, I only want to get back uh, rows that have, um, say a, say we want it to have a phone number. Then we could say select star from users where phone is not null. So this is gonna find them all where there is a value. So right now I only have two uh, that, that come back. But let's look at our data set, our complete data set now by just doing select star from users. And we have, let's see, we have one that has an email address and what we could do is say, hey, I want to get back all the users who uh, have an email address and a phone number. Okay, so let's try that. Um, let's try, so you would type select star from users where phone is not null. And then we can we could say and this keyword and email is not null. So what this is going to do is going to get all of our users where the phone is not null and the email is not null. Okay, so this should only give us back two results. And indeed, we only had two results. But let's say we want to get back anybody who has a phone number or that has an uh, email address. Well, then what we could do is we could say select star from users where phone is not null. And then we say where phone is not null and then we could type or email is not null. And now we get three rows back because now we use an or statement and these guys have phone numbers and or, not and, but or, an email address. So even though this one doesn't have a phone number, uh, he does have an email address. So that, that works out just fine. Um, we could do stuff too, like if we want to we do partial searches. Let me show you something really cool we can do there. And let's say we want... Um, Let's say we want to get back all the rows where the phone number contains a one, two, and three. Okay, so we could do select star from users where phone, and then we have a, a special word we can use like, where the phone is like, and then in print here, Let's go ahead and do a percent sign, one, two, three, and then another percent sign. Hit enter. And now we get two rows back. And the reason we're getting two rows back, this percent sign, 
and this like basically allows us to search through here and anywhere that has a one, two, three, no matter what's before or after that will return. So we had the numbers one, two, three return. But what happens if we had the four here? Now we only get back one row because the other row doesn't have a four afterwards. It has a dash afterwards. Okay. So that is the like uh, keyword where you can basically do word searches. Just be careful because if your database table is too big, you have too many rows, like millions of rows, this isn't going to be very efficient and this might be a really slow um, query. So you'd want to do other things to kind of speed that up. We'll talk about some more of that later, but I just want to show you that this is possible. Um, you can also do um, select star from users where f name equals and then let's just try all uh, lowercase and we can see that even though my name here is uppercase this is checking this is case insensitive so this search right here is returning this row um, because uh, it is not case sensitive on the search so this and this are different, but it is showing me that row. Okay, um, let's let's look at our entire result set again. So here is all of our results. Um, let's see what else in the select do I want to show you. Um, we're going to do more in the next videos, but I just want to show you a few more things, maybe for fun. Let's say um, we want to get all of our users back um, who have a last name or a first name that begins with J. Okay, so we could do that. We could say select star from users where F name is like now we don't want to add, we want it to begin with J. So we don't have to put the percent sign before it. We don't want to do that. We're just going to put a J. Oops. And then we'll do our percent sign after the J. And now let's see what we get. So now we get back Jules, John, and Jane, which all three have a J. So their first names begin with J. So that is uh, different ways that we can use the where where clause or the where statement with our selects to limit the result set that's returned. So imagine you had a database table that might have, you know, a million users in it. This is how you can segment those down and get just the ones that you want to see. Okay, let me show you one more thing. And we've looked at this briefly before, but I just want to reiterate it since we're talking about selects. And, and that is this columns uh, thing here. So we've been using select star, which returns all of the columns when we do a select. But let's say I only, for this thing, I only care about the first and last name, and I don't want to return the password, and I don't want to return the username, and I don't want to return the email. Well, what we could do is we could say um, select and then we can do a comma separated list of columns. So I, I want the F name, L name, and I want the phone and email. Okay, and then I type from, and then this is our, our table from our users table. That is case sensitive, by the way. And then um, what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna show you that it, even though we're just returning these, we can use our where clause on other things. So what I wanna do is I only wanna return these rows where our uh, username is equal to cparham and password is equal to, and I guess I need to uh, move my face here, where, and password is equal to secret. We'll do a semicolon. And hit next and now you see I get one row back 
uh, and I was able to use inside the word clause, I was able to use username and password even though I wasn't including those in this column selection. Okay, so you can do that. Um, but when it builds out this table to give us, it's only going to use the F name, L name, phone, and email because that's what I put here. Now I could I could also put these in a different order. So let's try that real quick. I'm just going to hit up to bring back my last thing here. And I'm just going to put this in a weird order. Like I'm going to put last name first. And then at the very end of the list, I'm going to put the first name. Now you probably wouldn't do this because that's kind of weird. But um, I just want to illustrate that this table is built out from those columns in that order that you put. So we have L name, phone, email, and then first name. And then here's our row. So this is how we can return data based upon conditions with our where statement. We do conditions and we can use ands and ors and likes and is null and is not null all in there. And when we do that, it limits our result sets. We can also either return all columns by using the star or we can specify which columns we need returned. All right, so that's it for this video and I will see you guys in the next one.